Hey everybody, welcome back to Minor Stuff. I'm Matt. Uh, I'm Pat. We're, we're the, the Minor Brothers. Brothers. Today, we are going over Oak Forester 1924. Pat, we're late to the game, but I'm glad we got so one. So late to the game. Alright, welcome back everybody. Before we get started, please subscribe to the channel. If you haven't yet, like this video. Drop some comments down below. If you've had this, pretty sure a lot of people have had it by now. It took us forever to finally find one and get yeah, one. Yeah, it took a while. It finally came out. New Hampshire sat on it for just Yeah, you were able to get one from New Hampshire. Long. I had another one coming up from Miguel down in Texas. Yep. Uh, which actually still isn't even here yet, but we won't end up having a backup, so. Yeah, that's nice. Um, Don't forget to check us out over on Patreon, too. We're doing some cool stuff. We actually just did a uh, Eagle Rare that is honey finished. Did our own nice little fancy sticker on there. We just got to wax dip the tops and everything still to go, but um, those are available by tiers over on our Patreon. We're going to be doing uh, Buffalo Trace. We have Buffalo Trace. We're going to have Blanton's. Blanton's Eventually, well. hopefully, we're just a couple bottles shy of Weller 107. Yeah. So we're going to get a whole bunch of stuff out there and sold. We're just working on accruing enough bottles That's to get up more more stuff you know, continuously going. And we got more barrels on the way so we can try to get more stuff actually rolling that way. Anyways, Pat, so this was a 10-year-old. Obviously, it's going to be like an annual release for Old Forester. Yeah. It's their, you know, their very first like age stated. Usually, they're about a four to six-year-old thing. So I'm pretty excited about this one. It's a hundred proof, which is definitely in your wheelhouse. Yep. Right? And it is the 79% corn. We have 11% rye and 10% of that malted barley pat. So, hopefully this is good. I know there's been a lot of mixed results out there from people. So far the nose is all right. Eh, nose is eh. It's not even, it's not even all right. It's kind of apple-y. There is some apple to it. I'm almost thinking more of like a green apple. A little bit of oak. It's really, really light on the it's nose. It's super light. I was expecting better, Pat. I was expecting better. Let's, oh, this tastes better. Better. Ante up. Yeah. Alright, you know what my problem is with this, Pat? It's $115. It's basically almost double what the normal... You know, Old Forester Row Series are, the Whiskey Row Series. So, Dude, 1910, 1920 is way better than this. It's better. It's, it's cheaper. Better. It's cheaper. It's better. Um, this is good. I'm not saying this isn't good. It's just, it's just not $115 good. Yeah. A little bit of, like, raspberry. Plums. Yeah, some plums. I think it's a lot, like, a lot of more, more like red, dark red fruits. Yeah. However, you know what? It's it's a short finish. It definitely feels short. It's just mirrors. It's not like it's as a, short as like Traveler weird, was. Is, is but the weird oak to it? Something in there is throwing me off. I think it's probably just the tannins from the oak. Yeah. It's you know what? I I, I expected so much better. I love Old Forester. Needless to yep. say, I mean, how many Old Forester blue labels do I have? Too many, you know, and this this and this more or less almost starts to remind me more of the Old Forester Black Label. I think the Old Forester Black Label, which is the hundred proof single barrels, I think those are even better than this. Yeah, I I and really coming at a hundred proof. So I really upset same. that I spent money on this. Yeah, I'm I'm not as pleased. I mean, well, like, I you gotta be pleased because it wasn't your money. I well, no, because I spent money too. So yeah, Pat, I'm I'm. Uh, yeah, a mixed. It's not worth one hundred fifteen dollars. No, like put these on the shelf at that normal fifty fifty five mark. I still probably wouldn't buy them. I'd no. probably buy the old Forester, like the hundred proofs instead. The regular, just the cheap ones, twenty five dollars. Yep, I think it's it's almost better than this one is. Uh, old Forester, you gotta step up your game here. I love you guys. I love you, but this is not worth putting out like you did. No, it is definitely not worth. It. It's not worth the value. It's definitely not. The bottle is just not worth it at all. Nope. So anyways, have you had 1924? Let us know down in the comments what your thoughts are on it. You can be totally opposite of us. You could probably agree with us. I have a feeling there's going to be more people agreeing than not just because this is it's it's weak for what you're paying for. The value of it is not there. Yeah. yeah. And I understand bourbon's getting more expensive, but it's not this fucking expensive. No. Definitely not. No. Anyways, hit that subscribe button. Follow us along. Uh, check us out on Patreon. We've got a lot of cool stuff going over there. Thank you guys so much, and we hope you all have a great day.